Hello everyone. There have been very few bands that have released only a handful of albums but are still able to make an impression upon the listener. These are the kinds of bands that make you go, wow, I've never heard anything like this before, and it's amazing. Bands such as Mr. Bungle and Nirvana come to mind for me. The band I will be talking about is a great example of this. That band is Acid Bath. Acid Bath was an American metal band that combined their main sludge metal sound with elements of doom metal, death metal, thrash metal, hardcore punk, gothic rock, blues, swamp blues, and psychedelia. Their influences are Black Sabbath, Alice Cooper, Roy Orbison, David Bowie, Celtic Frost, Dark Throne, Carcass, and Thrash Metal. <clears throat> Their lyrical content was influenced by comic book authors such as Alan Moore, Frank Miller, and Clive Barker. Their lyrics are poetic and often deal with death, drug abuse, mental illness, dark humor, <clears throat> Louisiana regional culture, Animism, Paganism, Nihilism, and Misanthropy. The vocals for the band were a process which produced an industrial music feel. The vocals are a mix of death growls and melancholic goth slash grunge style of vocals. Going into their history, the band was formed in 1991 in Oma, Louisiana, U.S. They were an incarnation of two bands. The one band being Golgotha, which had vocalist Dax Riggs, guitarist Mike Sanchez, and, and drummer Jimmy Kyle. The other band being Dark Carnival, Carnival which had guitarist Sammy Duet, uh, bassist Audie Pitry, and keyboardist Tommy Viator. Acid Bath was a prominent member of the New Orleans metal scene, alongside bands such as I Hate God, Down, Ex Hoarder, Crowbar, Smiling Green, and Super Joint Ritual. Many of these bands either had a sludge metal or groove metal sound to them. A lot of these bands even shared the same band members, but I digress. On August 8th, 1994, Acid Bath released their debut album titled When the Kite String Pops. The album's cover art is a self-portrait of serial killer John Wayne Gacy, which gave the band some controversy. <clears throat> Despite that, I like the album cover. I think it looks sick and iconic. I also think the album cover is quite appropriate because the lyrics on the album are straight up dark. The band doesn't hold anything back on their lyrical content. The edginess and weirdness of this album was also common in metal music back in 1994. You had metal albums such as Stern and Witch by Melvins, The Downward Word Spiral by Nine Inch Nails, Portrait of the American Family by Marilyn Manson, Far Beyond Driven by Pantera, Hungarian, uh, Transylvanian Hunger by Dark Throne, and Korn's self-titled debut that all brought a, new, a unique, weird, and dark edge to them. I digress. About 70% of this album has a heavy sound, with the rest having a melodic sound to it. You even have two songs that are straight up melodic on it, with the rest of the melody incorporated into the heavy songs. Overall, When the Kite String Pops is a great album and one of my favorite metal albums from the 90s. Both starts and ends strong. On November 12, 1996, Acid Bath released their second and final album titled Pagan, Pagan Terrorism Tactics. 
The album's cover art was a painting by assisted suicide advocate Dr. Jack Vorgian, which gave the, al the band controversy yet again. Much like my opinion on the previous album art, I like it, and I think it stays true to their lyrical content. About half of this album is heavy, and the other half is melodic. Overall, this is a good album, but I think the first album is better than this one. I feel like what they did on their sophomore album was done better on their debut. In 1997, uh, the, the band came to an abrupt end when Audi Petrie and his parents were killed by a drunk driver. His brother was the only one to survive the, the incident. After the band ended, they all went their separate ways with Dax Riggs becoming a solo artist and Sammy Duet forming a blackened death metal band called Goat Whore. Despite only releasing two albums, Acid Bath have grown quite a cult following. If Audi never died, I think the band wouldn't be mainstream to their lyrical, due to their lyrical content, but would be somewhere in the middle of mainstream and underground, much like other metal bands such as Gorgira, Macedon, and Slayer. This band was so good that I think they would have made it to that level of the aforementioned bands. Well, that's all I have to say, and if you like this video and want more like it, then subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, I'm Vaughn Wesley, and have a good one. Goodbye.